Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I have a book review for The Mistake by K.L. Slater. Um, and uh, I obviously, as I've mentioned before, um, I read my books on Audible, and that's how I'm able to read so many books, um, just to let you know, because if I had to actually physically read a book, I would never get to read because I don't have time to read. And I love reading, I love books, so I've turned to re listening to them. Um, so anyway, this book um, is, I'm going to give you the synopsis of what um, Goodreads says about this book. Um, okay, again, The Mistake by K.L. Slater. You think you know the truth about the people you love, but one discovery can change everything. Eight-year-old Billy goes missing one day out flying his kite with his sister Rose. Two days later, he's found dead. Sixteen years on, Rose still blames herself for Billy's death. How could she have failed to protect her little brother? Rose has never fully recovered from the trauma, and one of the few people she trusts is her neighbor Ronnie, who she has known all her life. But one day, Ronnie falls ill, and Rose goes next door to help him. And what she finds in his attic room turns her world upside down. Rose thought she knew the truth about what happened to Billy. She thought she knew her neighbor. Now the only thing she knows is that she is in danger. Okay. I gave this book four out of five stars on Goodreads. And the reason why is mainly... It's interesting. Okay, it's it's mainly because of the story. It's not necessarily or it's more like the way the story was told. Now, this book was told um like each chapter you had to really pay attention to um where you were in time because they told the story was told um talking about the present and then the past. And then the present, and then the past, and then the present and the past, and then they came together, right? Um, and so I, in the beginning, I thought I wasn't going to like that, but I think it was easier to keep track of where I was because I was listening to the story. I think. Now, I hadn't tried to actually read the story. I, I listen on Audible. So um, I really thought that it, it, made the story culminate in a way um, that was just really pleasant for the reader, I thought. Um, the story itself, I I thought was um, a little, like, lackluster. I Like, when Rose goes up... Okay, well, first of all, like, the book starts with um, Ronnie is sick and... Rose usually like brings him groceries and stuff because he's an older guy. He's lived next door like forever. And so she goes and when she's going to the store, she'll go and say, hey, do you need anything? And blah, blah, blah. Um, so she was, had just gone over to bring things to him and found him on the floor in the bathroom and he was sick. So, you know, the ambulance comes and takes him away and he says something to her like, don't go upstairs or something like that. Um, and then, of course, she goes upstairs and she finds this item. Now, personally, I mean, I... Okay, so I get it. Like, her brother had died, like, 16 years before. And um, all they knew was that... I mean, well, they knew. They, they found his body, so he was killed. Um, someone had been in jail for this crime. And now she's thinking, oh my gosh, did we, you know, like charge the wrong person? Did the wrong person go to jail? And then what do I want to do about that? If it really was Ronnie, can I not say anything because he's my friend? I really don't think he would do that. You know, that's, this is all that's being churned up. But the thing that was found up in the upstairs, I'm just going to say upstairs, it doesn't really matter where. Um, I don't know. To me, it was all like, uh, okay. I mean, I guess it was sort of like, um, it was sort of like, uh, confusing because everyone knew that this particular item had never been found and and it was obviously hidden by somebody in that house 
you know, either Ronnie or somebody who had lived with Ronnie. And so they knew it was there and never came forward with it. And why? Right? Um, so she now is going through and trying to, oh my gosh, what do I do if I open up the case again? And, blah. and there's another story that's unfolding. Like, um, as they go back to the past, right? And we start, and that's how we start to find out who was charged for this crime. And, um, quite honestly, I mean, you're learning all this stuff and you're thinking, well, that person deserves to be in jail anyway. And see, this is how it all unfolds is that you're going, okay, well, let's say it wasn't him. He was guilty of so many other things that, you know, he deserves to be in prison, like for all these other things that maybe we couldn't prove that he did or whatever. So it was that sort of a story and it came together and, um... So I did think it was really good. I would recommend the book. I just, I don't think it's like, you know, rush out and buy it. You got to read it right this second type of book, you know. Um, but I did think it was well told. And if you're interested, again, it is The Mistake by K.L. Slater. I'll be back with more reviews. Bye.